Hello, and welcome to today's in-depth exploration of Aptera's charging options, where we'll dive deep into the exciting innovations that make this electric vehicle unique. Driving the free electricity from the sun could soon become a reality as Aptera aims to begin producing solar-powered vehicles in early 2025. Solar energy, which reaches the Earth for about 12 hours each day, is an abundant power source that can be converted into electricity. It makes perfect sense to harness this energy to fuel the various modern technologies we use today. This process is already being utilized with solar panels converting sunlight into electricity for industrial applications and residential purposes like heating water. Precisely in 2023, there was a lot of buzz about the charging methods available for the app Terra. While there were initial disappointments like the announcement that the launch edition wouldn't feature DC fast charging, recent updates have brought some thrilling news. Not only has DC fast charging been confirmed, but Aptera's entire charging ecosystem has seen a massive upgrade. In fact, what's on offer now might be even better than we originally expected. So let's take a closer look at the different ways you can charge an Aptera, with a particular focus on its DC fast charging capabilities. For the amazing work that goes in here, Kindly return the favor by giving this video a like, subscribe, and leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Let's start with the most groundbreaking feature, Aptera's integrated solar charging system. Unlike conventional electric vehicles, Aptera has built-in solar panels that continuously trickle charge the battery during daylight hours. Whether you're parked or on the road, sunlight will always keep your battery topped up. This feature provides two massive advantages over standard electric vehicles. First, it greatly reduces range anxiety because you always have at least one reliable power source, the sun. For those who live in sunny climates like California or desert regions such as the UAE, this can be a game changer. Second, the solar charging system can deliver up to 40 miles or 64 kilometers of range per day, depending on your location and sunlight availability. Aptera's 700-watt solar package might seem modest at first, but thanks to the vehicle's ultra-efficient design, even this small amount of energy goes a long way. And if you're wondering whether you can boost that solar charging even further, you can. The second method of charging Aptera involves plug-in solar charging. Aptera comes equipped with a 1.7 kilowatt maximum power point tracking system, allowing you to add up to 1 kilowatt external solar power. By using foldable solar panels that can be packed and deployed around the vehicle, you can increase the maximum daily range to approximately 97 miles or 156 kilometers. This could be particularly useful for people who live off-grid or in areas with less sunlight. Imagine going camping in a remote area far away from traditional power sources, yet still being able to charge your car through solar energy alone. With Aptera's additional solar power capabilities, you could easily extend your range without plugging into any electrical outlet. It's a perfect solution for eco-conscious adventurers. But what if you need a faster, more conventional way of charging? That brings us to the third method, using a standard household socket, also known as Type 1 charging. Aptera's lightweight design and aerodynamics allow it to gain more range per hour of charging than other electric vehicles, even when plugged into a basic wall socket. For example, in the US, a typical 1.5 kilowatt household outlet provides around 13 miles or 21 kilometers of range per hour of charging. In Australia and the UK, where household outlets can deliver up to 2.4 kilowatts, you could gain 24 to 28 miles of range per hour. Aptera's efficiency means you don't need an expensive home charging setup. Unlike Tesla Model 3 or Nissan Leaf, which require more power to travel the same distance, Aptera can achieve impressive range even with simple charging setups. For many, this will eliminate the need for costly home charging stations, reducing the overall ownership cost. But for those who want faster charging, there's always the option of installing a Type 2 charger at home. Type 2 charging is the fourth method available for Aptera, and it offers faster charging speeds. In the US, Aptera will be compatible with a 6.6 kilowatt charger, delivering around 57 miles or 92 kilometers of range per hour. For the European Union, they're still deciding between 11 kilowatt and 22 kilowatt charging standards. If the 11 kilowatt system is chosen, owners in Europe can expect up to 109 miles or 176 kilometers per hour of charging. This level of flexibility makes Type 2 charging a great option for anyone who needs a quicker charge turnaround. And now we come to the star of the show, DC Fast Charging. DC Fast Charging is the fifth and most exciting charging method. Originally, Aptera's launch edition wasn't going to include it, 
But after listening to their community, the company reversed this decision. Not only will the launch edition support DC fast charging, but the team is aiming for even better performance than originally planned. While they're currently testing a 50 to 60 kilowatt system, Aptera has hinted at a potential future version with 100 kilowatt charging for longer range models. So why is DC fast charging such a big deal? It essentially transforms the Aptera from being a commuter vehicle to a long distance touring machine. With DC fast charging, you can top up your battery in minutes rather than hours, making it possible to travel great distances without long recharging stops. For instance, a 400-mile range app Terra could potentially regain 350 miles of range in just under 45 minutes at a fast charging station. But DC fast charging does come with challenges, particularly the heat generated during the charging process. To handle this, most electric vehicle manufacturers either charge at ultra-high speeds for short periods or charge at relatively high speeds over longer durations. Aptera's efficiency, however, allows it to take full advantage of even moderate charging speeds. Unlike cars like the Porsche Taycan, which require a lot of energy to travel shorter distances, Aptera's aerodynamic design allows it to travel much further on the same amount of energy. This means that while other electric vehicles may connect to higher power DC fast chargers, Aptera can get similar or better results with lower power. Its design makes the most out of every kilowatt of energy, allowing you to cover substantial distances without needing massive charging speeds. In real-world scenarios, this translates to Aptera being one of the most efficient electric vehicles on the road. Even though its DC fast charging peak might seem lower on paper compared to others, it can still deliver a faster and more sustainable charge. This makes Aptera an excellent choice for long-distance travelers and anyone looking to reduce their carbon footprint while enjoying the benefits of electric driving. In conclusion, Aptera's charging options offer flexibility, sustainability, and practicality. Whether you're charging on the go using solar power, plugging into a household outlet, or using a fast charger, Aptera delivers outstanding efficiency. It's a vehicle that not only meets today's needs, but also paves the way for the future of electric transportation. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into Aptera's charging capabilities. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates on electric vehicles, sustainable energy, and innovative technologies. And there you have it for now. It's been fantastic having you with us this far. If you've enjoyed the incredible work that goes into these videos, please show your support by giving a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and sharing your thoughts in the comments below. Your engagement means a lot. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.